I'm Noelle, and this is Grant, and we just left our home with our two dogs to sail south. We were prepared as we were going to be, and confident in the full keel underneath us. She was ready. Thanks for watching our new life, the highs and the lows, as we navigate these waters. Ah! <laughs> Freaking made it. <laughs> Friends joining on board for the weekend, I prepped some banana bread and we awaited their arrival into Cat Harbor on Catalina Island. Okay. Oh, there's a fish! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the ocean! Hi! Oh. Hi, you two. Ripper's Cove! <laughs> we are running from Santa Ana winds. Is our friends Dan and Katie on board? Yeah, hopefully we get to do a little sailing. Um, but let's see. What we were hoping would be a nice weekend at Ripper's Cove and a short jaunt to Avalon thereafter quickly changed when the weather forecast alerted Santa Ana winds arriving the next day. They say being at Avalon for Santa Ana winds can be a death trap, so we decided to sail back around to two harbors where we could hide from the wind and have a relaxing evening. Me and Luz. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> Between your lobster and my lobster. Oh. Are we gonna all get gout? <laughs> <laughs> That's how I eat my lobster with scissors. Big old hearts. A fun weekend with friends, many memories made that will remain just that because I didn't film much, but we spent one last day at Catalina before heading to San Diego the next day. Did you find anything? Did you find anything? That's loaded. Okay. Ah! <laughs> you got a lot of heck. Oh yeah. Dude, it's huge. It's a good one. Oh my God, how did you find that in daylight? Dude, I found a big den of them. Wow! And I, nice! It was like sandy bottom. Yeah. And it was fat enough I could get my body and I could get my hand at full extension all the way to the back. And there was just nowhere. There was like a little corner. So I just came in on this side. My other hand was on the other side and I just swept in <laughs> until I was just like, well, I got you. <laughs> nice! That's good size. Grant just got a lobster. So that's exciting. We're gonna have more lobster for dinner. We've had it for dinner the last three nights, <laughs> which is amazing, I'm not complaining. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get enough to bring to our friend in San Diego for our next passage. Did you get anything? It's in there. It's dinner, baby. Oh, what? Rad. What's that? I think they call this a kelp pass. Very similar to a calico. This is a little bit of 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 a with only one bolt. And just the adjusting there, bolt. And the other bolt vibrated out. So we might be in luck. That's a good catch. And now we're gonna try to find a bolt that fits, but I hope this it's of course this is gonna be one size too big. Nope. So. Too big.
The bolt came out because of vibration, and if we didn't find this, we would have lost our belt, which would have lost our raw water pump, and then the alternator, and likely overheated our engine, and would have not had any alternator after that. A slippery slope for sure, but hard not to be when things are really a domino effect on a sailboat, unless you catch it early. Life is a winding road. Well, we're going to make this even more bomber it than it was. And this and is why you always carry stop for traffic extra lights. And I, I really want to know, really want to know If I let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will it's keep on searching for my Crisis highs. averted You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down. Okay. Let's drive. Jumping from cliffs so high. Trusting our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. Get up and start from the ground And I I really want to know Grant and I are still getting the hang of sailing together as a team. We have some experience sailing, and mostly on other boats. So far, this is the most we've sailed together on Mundial. And with my hurt back, it's not been easy sailing together. Trying to stay comfortable and go easy while also being crew is a fine line to dance. Grant ended up burning his hand with the main sheet while trying to jibe. And lessons learned, we wear gloves when working with the sheets until we fix the issue. Every jibe, every tack, we try to talk about what could be d done differently, what could be communicated better. Main sail looks good, let me check the head sail. We aren't seasoned sailors, and we know it, but we are taking every step to improve and learn from our mistakes. This was kind of lumping on our windward side. Yeah, perfect. Goodbye, Catalina. a slow afternoon here but we are about 45 nautical miles from San Diego so we decided so we don't arrive in the dark just to fly the asymmetrical and um, yeah slow things down a bit and turn off the motor because we had a motor for like the last hour because there's just no wind and it picked up a little bit and yeah this is pretty cool it's our first time flying here since uh, Morro Bay Tacker? Yeah, so there's this thing called an ATN tacker. It slides along this. What it would allow you to do is 
here on first night watch in the passage from Catalina to San Diego we got spinnaker flying only going three and a half knots or so but we need to pull back so that we don't get into San Diego in the dark anyway so if we maintain where we are we'll get in at like 11 a.m prediction is at some point the wind's gonna die completely and we'll have to decide to go drift and wait for some wind or motor. Sea state's pretty mellow so it doesn't really matter if we went bare poles it's not like a danger or anything so yeah just slow moving along here. I got the hand lines out but we're going so slow I doubt anything would hit. It in a second because it's dark and I don't think it's uh, worth trolling in the dark because fish can't see your hooves anyways. But what about that sunset over San Clemente Island? just flying the spinnaker. Um, we're holding like four knots, pretty steady. And um, I think the wind's, I don't know, super light, obviously. And we're about 38 nautical miles from the port of San Diego. It's weird being the only two on our boat making these long passages. There's no one to celebrate the wins with except for each other and yourself. There's no boss saying good job or clients singing praise. It's just us. In this passage, I was proud. We sailed our longest passage yet, 110 nautical miles, two nights and into three days, and we made it. It required resiliency, stamina, and patience to work with each other, show each other grace when tired, and caring for one another even when tired yourself. It's another level of teamwork for me. But this is also why I make these episodes, because sharing our wins with you makes it all the better. It didn't take us long to start projecting once we arrived in Glorieta Bay in San Diego. We decided to install more solar panels. With the water maker and Starlink, having some extra solar would be peace of mind. So we had some delivery sent to one of my oldest Holding. and best friends, Becca, in San Diego. And upon arrival, we got to work. While Grant worked on solar and installing the new charge controller, I got to working on the pin rails, something we've been wanting to put up for a while. The pin rails were mounted on Mundial differently when we bought her. After redoing all the rigging and changing out stainless steel for Dyneema, the pin rails had to be tweaked a bit. I decided to lash them to the shrouds this time. And I go this way, right? Oh God. <laughs> right? Yeah. 
Alright guys, um, you see me without any big divots in my hair. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, let's do this. Okay. So this is gonna come off my head. Okay. The diagonal is kind of confusing. Aw, you look so handsome! You ready to go try to do this? Sure. We'll see if we can come up with a solution. Haven't filmed in a few days because I've just been kind of running around San Diego getting some errands done and visiting with old college friend Becca and Daniel. And they are so nice. They lent us their car so we could actually like have a little freedom and run around and do some errands. Um, it's game changer. Yeah, I definitely took for granted having a car before. But today, Grant has taken on a project that we came up with once we set sail. We have a loose ABS pipe that's in our mast clanking. And he's gonna try to fasten it to the mast so it doesn't um, make noise anymore. goal is to try to get the pipe pushed up so that I can actually touch it through the bigger hole where the wire's going through up there. You know what I mean? You see where the wire goes through underneath? Touches. Yeah. yeah. There's a big rubber stopper. Yeah. I'm gonna pull that rubber stopper out and then that'll give me like a relatively good sized hole. Okay. And I have a small C-clamp. in there and get into the top of the pipe kind of put down to hold it in place at the top so I can get things can just get started. Cool. This is going to be a frustrating uh, time so I don't know if you're going to be able to make it to go do the laundry but okay. you can do it tomorrow. Right. You have probably heard some of the clanking noise in our videos. Here's a preview in this next clip of an example of the clanking noise. When we aren't in the most calm of anchorages, we hear it a lot throughout the night, so it's been something we want to try to fix. You want me to lift it as far as I can go? I moved it four Grant inches. was able to get a hole in the ABS and a rivet through, but every time he activated the rivet, it just pulled it through the ABS. This is still an ongoing issue, and we are brainstorming ways to resolve this. So if you've got any ideas or experience with this, let us know in the comments. And while you're here on this Thanksgiving day, I just want to say thanks for watching and for being here rooting us on for the wins, the losses, the struggles, for all of it. See you next week. Is that what you have to keep telling yourself? Do you want me to cut it or not? What? <laughs> oh, it's you have a mohawk! <laughs> okay. Um, you can leave long on top of you, like really long on get top. Get that LA boy look. Whoa! You trying to get your finger chopped off? That wouldn't cut my finger off. Had enough to drink? Are you good? <laughs> I could use more wine, actually, without you ask. What do you mean? You it just kept great. getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Well, it was shorter. super long. Okay, well, now it's super short. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. It's just like you kind of look like a cancer baby. Well, because you fucking turned it all super short right there in the front. Like, I, I don't know what you were thinking, but... Dude! It's just like, I'm not a professional! Well, you just stop thinking. I, I get it. You're like, you're just like, trim it away, trim it away, trim it away. Oh, that's his head. <laughs> Take care of this. Yeah, it looks like you got attacked by a rat! This, like, this doesn't look good. You went like this, this is what you did. <laughs> <laughs>